sapa. <laughs> Okay, so we've just had the moped journey from hell. We got, <laughs> it was horrible. We basically rented a moped from our accommodation and I asked for a, not a geared scooter, so like the normal automatic scooter, which is what I'm used to, but the woman's English wasn't very good, which is fine, but she gave me a geared scooter and I thought, okay, I'll try that anyway. Tried it and oh my God, we just had the worst journey ever around Sapa stopping and starting this place is full of potholes as well which makes it even worse but i do not know how to work a geared scooter and poor patrick over here was i was terrified pooing himself on the back because <laughs> i was driving as usual so yeah i'm never ever going to go near a geared scooter or a bike i mean it was only a scooter which is not even that powerful so i dread to think what i will be like on a bike but yeah Anyway, we've made it for food and we're still alive. And we're at, we're at this, world. yeah, we're at this really cool cafe. Um, is this switched on yet? And with this amazing view. And I think, I think our accommodation is like, Near here. Over that way, because that's the white building. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're not far from here, which is pretty cool, and we've got like an amazing view from our accommodation as well. So, yes, we've now got an automatic scooter. We've not got a geared scooter, so we're not gonna die. Hopefully, Mom, Dad, we're not gonna die. <laughs> get food then maybe explore Sapa because we arrived on a night bus I'm trying to get like a good angle here like a flattering angle but it's really difficult because I can keep going underneath which is like not very nice I'm gonna hold it by the I'll hold it from here okay yeah. what was I saying oh yeah so today get food now it's really close now get food, then probably explore Sapa on my bike that's not a death machine. And after that, I mean, we're gonna go trekking tomorrow, so we need to get lots of energy for that, like an early night, probably. Um, we got a night bus last night, so we're both like really knackered from that. It was really cool, like sleeper bus, but it was still very uncomfortable. And it's so weird, like sleeping on a bus, which is moving and going up and down. So we didn't sleep that well. I don't think Patrick slept at all. So. No, not a, not a wink. Not a wink, not a wink. So early night tonight and then big day tomorrow. can pick up the most rice but not just the most rice the most rice using chopsticks 
Patrick's gonna go first. And yeah, we're really bad at using them, so don't judge. We'll get better. We're getting better. Okay, so I'm go gonna on, try Patrick. and get this bit. Contestant number one. Oh yes, I think that's the most. That's gotta be the well, most. Well, let, let, let me zoom in on that. Oh, okay. It's but quite you have a, to eat quite, it though, you have oh, to get what? it to your mouth. Go on, go on. Ah! Well, okay, that was actually a really good attempt. So dry on its own. <laughs> I'm actually a bit worried now that I won't be able to do as good as that. Right. It now Patrick's gonna film me doing it. Now I don't even know if I'm holding these correctly, so like if I'm not, please don't make fun. Comment below. <laughs> right. Um see this is harder because mine's all like broken up. I'm, I don't have big chunks like what you had. Yeah. No, that's a big one. Big Zoom in on that. There's a clear winner here. <laughs> no. Attempt number two. Okay. Two. What can I say? Look how much rice I've got compared to what you've got. Scam. Scam. Comment below if you find this entertaining. <laughs> Dude, I find it entertaining. <laughs> For more challenges, subscribe. <laughs> He's enjoying this way too much. Usually Patrick does, no, usually I do all the driving and then Patrick is the passenger when we hire a moped. And um, Patrick's gonna have a go in Sapa at driving on the moped. I mean, we're in a village, so he should be fine. He doesn't need to go fast, but he does get nervous. Don't That's you, Patrick? very patronizing. <laughs> it's true. Because I can't bloody drive one. You can, it's so easy. Literally all you do Somebody, is, for anyone who's driven a moped before, it's not a qualification, you don't like need a qualification though. All you do is like, the throttle is like this bit and that's what gives you the power. So all you have to do is like kind of, and then it goes. <laughs> He'll be fine. thing here is all the hills because it's so hilly and literally like you've got really steep hills um, so I guess that can be quite like scary plus they drive on the other side of the road here as well which is quite scary if you're not used to it ready, ready?
Are you okay? Nope. It's too difficult. Watch out for the step. So, Patrick, what are your first impressions of Sapa? It's alright. It's good. It's very, uh. We must be very high up. Yeah. Like, we're right in the clouds, aren't we? I think so. So literally, as soon as you get the off the bus, or however you get to Sapa, people will try to sell you stuff. Whether that's like a homestay, which is like staying with them and living with them for your entire duration of your trip, or like they might try to sell you like bracelets or like homemade stuff by the looks of things. And some of the, they have like children as well who try to sell you stuff and they're so, so cute. And they're all dressed in like the traditional clothes and stuff as well. And you just want to approach them, but you can't because they're like badass salespeople and they know what they're doing. They're very pushy. Very pushy. But then you've just got to be like... If you show any interest. Yeah. You've got to be like firm with them. Mm. Just be like, no, I don't want your stuff. Don't give eye contact as well. What else? Um, don't say maybe. Don't say maybe. They'll take that as a yes. And oh, they'll follow you. Yeah, they can't really like... I think British people are too polite in that sense. We're like, oh, like yeah, smiling like, and stuff, but just you've just got to be like, no. Straight face. And just firm, but fair. Don't smile at them. But yeah. Look how she's dressed. They look so innocent, but they're not. They're not innocent. They're badass salespeople who should be on The Apprentice. Look, look, look. Fish comes, fish comes. Look, look. Oh, damn, I'm really zoomed in. I like pointed my camera at one woman and she was like you point your camera at me you pay for me <laughs> so like any opportunity they will try and get money they want your money oh yeah I mean the thing is with Sapa it's like hang on this might be the safe exit. yeah <laughs> we've found a safe exit over here with like no salespeople but the thing is like Sapa is like a really poor community um, I mean like there's a lot of poverty in Vietnam but Sapa is like kind of like a rural village so there are lots of like poor people and you've got like children who are working and trying to get money to their families and stuff like that so people are trying to make money by any means possible really.
So we're not really sure where this is at the moment, but we think it's like some sort of street food yeah, market. Looks, looks like it. By the looks well, of it. sort of mixed. Yeah. What it is. Yeah. Like clothes, handcrafts, and street food. So we're thinking of getting a massage. Oh, yes. And then heading back here probably after sunset because it's like, what time is it now? So uh, I don't even know. Right. It's probably the sun's going to set in like half Quarter an hour. Six. Yeah. Quarter to six, so we are going to head off and get a massage. Oh.